Welcome to another edition of My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Well, this morning we want to talk about the tragic circumstances under which uh, prison water was stabbed to death by an inmate um, at the St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center and uh, the correct the Department of Correctional Services reported a 32 year old temporary correctional officer Jamel Whitney who had just joined the service from the intake of the Carl Ratchet Training College was stabbed inside the prison in Spanish Town and I'm reading this from the Jamaica Observer according to the Department of Correctional Services Westney was performing his assigned duties during the facility and locking down process when he was attacked by the inmate whose identity has not been released. Whitney, who is in his seventh week of duty with the department, was taken to hospital where he died while being treated. How tragic can this be? Seven weeks, that's not even two months. He's on the job and he lost his life from the violent attack um, by a prisoner. Um, the department is said to have started um, counseling to the rest of workers there, while Minister of Portfolio and the National Security Minister, Matthew Samuda, who has the responsibility for the prison department, was quick to condemn the killing of the, con the correctional officer. officer. In a statement, he said, I am truly saddened at the news. I join all Jamaican in extending my condolence to the correctional officer, witness family and friends, and indeed all correctional officers. And he went on to say that in this, the incident underscores the need for urgent legislative reform and capital investment to tackle the problem of contraband in the island's prison. Now, with all of that being said, we saw the other day that a report came out where the international human rights community was saying that the Jama they were very concerned about Jamaica's um, justice system as it relates to our justice body, um, human rights abuse being perpetrated on the inmates population in the INL penal institutions all of these things came out and now as if it is to show them that whatever they're talking about makes no sense here, here comes an incident where a correctional officer was stabbed to death and it's not only the correctional officer a couple of weeks ago we had the death of a policeman Kirkland Plummer in Clarendon we had um another police who was killed um i think in olympic gardens so the security force has been under threat recently and we expect the government to do something about this in another situation we also heard from i think it's same matthew samuda who said and dr horace chang who was saying that rules are coming and there'll be trying to identify and I think it was a new um, prison facility where the, the, the use of contraband will be high on the agenda to eradicate out of the system. But now you see, we, we have heard of persons losing their life based on the fact that person, gangsters in the prison makes calls just the same way and have their work been done, carried out by other persons outside. We understand that persons are still in the penal institution, institution with phones and we have seen videos lately that would suggest this is so. Now, how these contrabands get in the, 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 the penal institution? It's a combination of a lot of stuff. Even the very correctional officers needs to be rechecked. The, the government needs to look at them carefully because some of these things are being let inside the penal institution by corrupt prison officials. And this, no doubt, has, le has led to a situation. I'm not saying that it was a, co um, a correctional officer who gave this prisoner 
the contraband to stab the um the correctional officer but you don't know how many other stuff they have let inside there that has caused serious damage to life and property within the prison and outside the prison so i mean we expect a lot of things to be done the jamaican government responds constructively to the anticipated government task force report on long-term incarceration of mentally ill people in jamaica that's another situation the jamaican prison systems failures identified the in by the independent commission of investigation so these are statements being made by um our security personnel who are saying they are trying to make headways in fixing and having a better prison system but what sense does it make if you take someone off the street who is a threat to property and life and you put them behind bars and they still have the access to telecommunication they still have the access to um illegal drugs they still have the access to basically anything there is like they are just home away from home well i think this the death of this correctional officer might serve as a wake-up call to all persons in and around who is involved in around national security whether it be island-wide or in the prison and i hope this prisoner even though his name has not been um his name has not been I de um, clearly put out there but I hope I mean he will be dealt with it with the full force of the law it is reported that about it was about 9 45 a.m. when the inmate stabbed the correctional officer and I mean on social media network we saw persons from the correctional institute taking um, issue saying that he's just gotten the job it's not even two months yet he's on the job and for this to happen you know may his soul rest in peace a lot of persons kept on saying that but the probe of the incident goes on and we hope this person and this perpetrator will be will be dealt with with the full brunt and force of the law well there you have it. Until next time, be safe. I can't stress that anymore. But every day, be safe. Be strong. Be supportive. Look out for a family member and also look out for a neighbor.